treble gear. Which is found that. Especially when it's the coach's yeah. camera and it's the coach's, coach's daughter, daughter that's hitting the home run. See, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Too many jobs to do, JP. We'll, we'll send the link to the radio broadcast they can listen to. That's it. right. But one of the advantages I was going to say as we turn the camera on is. It's foul away. Is when you play the team five times and you got it on video, you can obviously study the hitters. So, and it works the other way too. Obviously, they can study our pitchers. Alright, so a 1 2 is a couple of foul balls. Now, the changeup is in the dirt. Count even at 2 and 2. That was still a good pitch, though, Jeffy. I mean, even the ball, even though the ball bounced up there, it bounced right at the plate. It wasn't the, it the ball the balls she was throwing up there the other night. So, she's thrown it a lot in the last few days, and I think it has helped her with confidence. And she started throwing one good one. So. There's a hot shot down the third base line, but foul in between. Rose at third of the third base coach for Coffee County. That was laced down the left field line. He's acting pretty cool over there, but I think he probably went inside. He, he, didn't, he, didn't, uh, he didn't act like that bothered him whizzing by him, but I think he probably flinched a little bit on that one. That was smoke. So two two counts. Cushion section is in full swing in the first base, first base dugout for Coffin County, as you can hear. Good. No? Yeah, it's a percussion. Across the way. So West with a 2-2 count. Nobody on base. All-speed pitch. Slap to the right side of the infield. Doss coming over quickly on the first. More to second out of the inning. Nice play, Kenzie Doss. Yeah, that was a good play. The ball was hit just soft enough. And hey, I think maybe the, our, our field watering job tonight, Jeffy, slowed that ball down. But Kenzie made a great play. She got over in the hole, squared her body up, and made a good flip. Now batting the pitcher, Assistant number 15, Kaylee right. Skipper. Two outs here two in the uh, top of the second. The pitcher is Kaylee Skipper. And she will step up. She pitched and started last Tuesday in the winner's bracket final. Lawrence Kane was able to get to her in the I believe it was the sixth inning. First pitch to her from Macy Burnishaw. Strike the outside edge. Going one to count. If we get that pitch all night long, JP, Macy's going to be very tough. Because again, that ball starts on the corner and moves off the plate. And Georgia catches it in the chalk and he's giving us that pitch. So if we get that pitch. That pitch is outside for a ball in county for <coughs> one to one. Second, lean hop for Doss on the first in time. One, two, three. Again goes Coffee County in the second. We head to the bottom half of inning two. Your score, Lawrence County one, Coffee County zero. It's the Region 4 AAA Championship on the Exports Radio Network. That's right. That's okay. Yeah, it's good. That's right. If you would see our concession stand for your uh, food and drink needs, we have uh, chicken nachos, the hamburger, hot dogs, uh, french fries. Uh, uh, if you would see them for your food and drink needs. Also, if you're interested in uh, buying a can, I'm working with a new system. I like for a dollar, you can buy a can from a Yeti cooler. If you would see the concession stand.
the Lady Cats in the bottom of the second. The pitcher, number four, Mackey Bernstraw. And Maddie Egley. Facing Haley Skipper. 21 pitches through that first inning for the land with a solo shot to center. A no doubter. And give Lawrence County first lead. Say hello to uh, some of the members of the uh, Lawrenceburg Fire Department sitting out uh, in the parking lot on top. Is that Engine 1 out there? Tower. Tower 1? There we go. Say hello to those folks. We got some back in here as well. To get you back there. First pitch, uh, the pitch there to, uh, to Bertie Shaw, swing and a miss, and a strikeout for Skip with the first of the ball game. We're going here in the second. Now batting for the Lady Cats in short spot, number five, Kirsten Littrell. That one away. A really great crowd again here at Jim Chance Field tonight. Perfect evening for softball. And Littrell with a little looper to second. Knocked down with the glove of Evans. She tosses it over to first for the second out of the end. Yeah, that was a good play, Jay. That was just one of those kind of short hops. Now batting for the Lady Cat, center field of number eight, Maddie Eggley. She's reached down with that glove in there fighting, getting the ball out of there. She made a good play. So Maddie Eggley hits on the right side, is up with bases empty and two outs here in the bottom of the second. Lawrence County leading one to nothing over Coffee County. Skipper, rocket chair in the circle, grounder to short, Henshaw up with it across. In time, one, two, three goes Lawrence County in the second. We play two, one nothing, Lawrence County leading Coffee County in the region. Triple A Championship, and it's on the X Sports Radio Network. Going into the top of the third, Lawrence County Lady Cats one, Coffee County Lady Raiders zero. Stanley, anything going on down there? You want to talk to him real quick? Take it after this. Stay by, man. I'll talk to you now. Actually, stand here. Take it out, okay? Let's get it back to you. Kind of in that no man's land of either diving or trying to slide, and it went off her glove for a base hit. She did, Jay, but she had to go a long ways to catch that ball. Now batting the catcher, number 40, Lauren Humberland. And he just tipped off of her glove. Did a good job to wrestle to it pretty quick to hold her to a single. So, could have easily, if the ball got away, she could have easily wound up at second. Grayson recovered and held her to a single. Richardson at first. The hitter is Tomberlin. The catcher, first pitch to her, is over for a strike. And the count 0-1. Well, JP, they're no threat to run. We're pretty safe to say that. They've seen Georgia enough. <laughs> Georgia land one of the best arms in the state. Find the plate. Spraying around the button. They throw back behind her. Safe. Oh, what a good throw by Lane. And Rose was there. Rose McKenna, a left-handed thrower. So the right-hand glove is a natural sweep with the ball. It was tight, but back safely is Richardson. And the pitch was a ball. 
That was close, JP. We just said that, and all she did was probably take one step too far of a lead, and then Georgia nearly picked her up. Swing around, but Archie to Rose at third. It goes off the heel of the run. She was charging so hard, and that ball was hit harder than expected, and it came up on the wheel too quickly. Yeah, I think Greenlee was trying to just go too fast right there, and uh, when the ball takes it, you know, again, uh, Softball is not played with a grass infield. It's all dirt infield, and, and you get those hops. I'll just be honest. That happens from time to time. And Grimley's just trying to make a play there and just going fast, and the ball hops up and, and skirts away. So they just got two basically. Coming in the run for the Lady Raiders, number 29, Tatum Baldwin. At their end. But uh, if anybody can pitch out of this, JP, it's the Lady Cats. We can pitch out of this, and we play D and get out of this. So the first two runners for Coffee County. As I believe we got a courtesy runner. No, nope, that's a pitch runner. Is that right? At, at first? Now batting for the Lady Raiders. Nine. Second base for number 30. Tom Actually, yeah, yeah, catch yeah, it. There we go. One and zero. Excuse me. Oh, it's all right. And the defense we got on right here, Stanley, is we're trying to, if given the opportunity, we're trying to get the force out, the lead out of third. We see nobody go to the second, and Kirsten would cover third. So if she bunts the ball with any pace back at all, we're going to try to get the out of third. One zero. She squares around, slaps it, and to Literal, she tags the runner. Nice shot, Kirsten Literal. As she was moving towards third to cover the tag. Standing now, buddy. That was an athletic number 19, play. Katie uh, Rutledge. The uh, ladder away. there. That was a great job of slashing. When they, you draw them in, she slashes it. And Kirsten had great hands, great athletic play, and got the, the lead out. That was a great play. First pitch is off, off the dugout for Lawrence County. As Rutledge. JP, that, uh, that that that's kind of play right there that gets a little momentum back in our favor, even though they still got two two runners on. We can get an out right here. 